Hello everyone, we are on our way to Jacksonville because I'm gonna go play a show with my band, We The Kings. My name is Charles and I just got this today and I'm in the car because I'm on the way to, uh, last time I think I did an unboxing, I was in a tour bus. Right now I'm in my car on the way to play a show. So what's up? I'm here to do a nice little unboxing of the iPhone 5S. I got the 64 gigabyte, here's my old one. I have filled this one up with all the touring and stuff, it's full of photos, so I had to get a new one. And I wanted to do a nice little unboxing just to see if this thing is worth actually getting. I'll admit it, I'm a sucker for Apple. Anything they put out, I end up wanting. I'm an Apple sheep, I get it. I understand, there's probably better phones out there, but for some reason it's just something about it that I really like. So I'm gonna see if it's actually worth it though. So I gotta open it up. Gotta open it up, gotta open that up. We got like a five hour drive, so I'll, I'll probably be done by the time this thing's open. Do you have anything I can open this up with? My wife's in the car as well. Do you have anything sharp? Just keep doing this. Like a like a monkey trying to get like a clam. Just... <coughs> so typical Apple fashion, their boxes, their packaging is always amazing. Oh. So there it is. It's just like, where's mine? So here's my iPhone 5. I got the black one, or what is it, space gray last time? which was just black last time. Now I got the new, the white one, which has the white and silver. I just think the white is a little bit cleaner. So let's just take this off, let's compare the two. Pretty much exact, they are exactly the same, obviously, they didn't change the design at all. Except the only thing I can see different is that the, with the touch ID, it's got a nice little ring. I don't know if the, that ring is the actual touch ID. I would imagine it is. Oh! So this one's a 32 gigabyte, but like I've filled it up so many times and I've had to delete things. That's one thing I hate doing is deleting. I hate deleting memories. So this time I got the 64 gigabyte one. But Charles, why don't you just put the files on your computer, stupid, stupid head? I could put the files on the computer, negative person in the comments. However, I like since I travel so much, I like to have my memories on my, on my person all the whole time, so I can just look at them. I know you guys don't really sound like that, but I knew someone was gonna ask that question. Oh, you can activate it over cell data. Apparently. Nice. That's my phone number. I can't show you guys that. You could. I could show it to you. Or my social security. <laughs> I can't show. There's a lot of critical stuff I can't show you guys right now. <laughs> That's what happens when you do things in the car. Does anyone ever read the terms and conditions? I don't think I've ever read the terms and conditions. If somebody read the terms and conditions, they probably wouldn't agree to them. And there's no disagree, you can't continue. Activating my phone. So I can take a few minutes. So while let's take, okay, that works. The next step that you let you do is to set up the touch ID. You set up fingerprints. See, this is the thing that's really cool. You can add multiple fingers because you have a, you have 10 fingers, you know? So you don't always have to use your thumbs. Place your finger and rest it on, and go up and down. So Apple's is taking my, my DNA, or at least my thumbprint. I guess it's not really DNA. Move your finger slightly between scans so we can make sure to take all my thumbprint. Okay. No, it's not working. This is not looking good. This is looking really, really embarrassing. Okay, adjust your grip and do it again. I guess he's gotta make sure to get more. Since you have 10 fingers, I guess you could do this 10 times. And if you have, have more fingers than just 10, I guess you can do it more. Success. Let's test this out. Slide to unlock. Let's try it. I guess it didn't get my finger. Oh, there it did. Sweet. That's actually pretty cool. Actually, I take it back. It only allows you to have five fingers. So one hand. So you can't have both hands. Just do it on your dominant hand, obviously. That hopefully will be fixed with a software update. I'm hoping. All right, so we're all set up. Everything looks the same, obviously. I mean, it really, until the iPhone 6, is gonna be the same exact phone. This is the one thing I'm really looking forward to is the flash. Cell phones have always made dogs look like demons, and this is called the true flash. And I'm hoping they finally got rid of the whole demon dog thing, you know, where the dog's eyes look like all green. I don't think that matters because the dogs naturally have a reflective thing in the back of their eyes. That's just that. They can change the flash, but they can't change the dog. 
All right, so let's see if this works. So you slide to unlock, and there's the passcode. So I'll just put my finger on it and see what it does. It bypasses it, so Touch ID works. It's pretty cool, actually. I wonder how secure it actually is. Definitely probably just a novelty. See, a cool thing Ali just brought up is that you can still use your passcode if you really want to. But I think I'm gonna be so lazy, I'm just gonna do this every single time. I'm pretty like impatient, so that's kind of cool to have that option. I mean, this is kind of like a lame unboxing just because of the fact the phones are identical. The last one I did for the uh, iPhone 5 from the iPhone 4S was a lot better. Is it, is it lighter or no? It's, no, it feels exactly the same. It's the exact same phone. Is the resolution the same? Or? Yeah, they're both retina displays. It's gonna be a huge jump. Allie got the, she has the 4S. It's gonna be a huge difference for her. It's gonna be, I'm gonna freak out. What about the camera? Is it the same megapixels? I thought it was I, I think it might be a bigger, I'm dropping things. This is what happens doing an unboxing in the car. So it comes with the new headphones. They came with the 5, which I particularly like. Particularly like. Another Thunderbolt cable. Your little brick. Everything that always comes with it. You should take a photo and see the photo is a little bit better. internet this is the uh, 5 right now this is the 5s can you guys tell any difference hello 5s hello 5 I don't know if you guys can tell the difference but I think this is a little clearer but I can't really tell it's kind of hard kind of hard to tell my eyes I was just gonna say my eyes aren't retina but they are <laughs> that's stupid of me all right this one is five the one right here on the right is 5s that's my wife Allie and that's the five on the left hello. can you guys tell the difference that's the internet. Everyone say hi to the internet. It definitely seems like the range is a lot wider, which is nice. I guess this is, the sensor is bigger, which is cool. You gotta love that. It's not as zoomed in. The bottom one's more zoomed in. Actually, I want to try the uh, the flash. Let's try the flash. I'm gonna I'm gonna blind you really quick. I'm gonna take it with the five too. Let's compare the the flash. definitely tell that it's a lot clearer. The 5S is a lot clearer. If you're lazy, you want better photos, then maybe you want to upgrade. Other than that, it's pretty much the exact same phone. Apple didn't, conv they didn't convince me otherwise on that. Well, it's faster, isn't it? Supposedly it's faster, but I don't really play many games on here. Can I fling an Angry Bird faster? Let me know what you guys think in the uh, comments. Are you going to wait for the iPhone 6? Are you going to get the 5S? Or is Android way better? Well, we got to go. I got to go get my mindset play a show tonight the first show in like a few months I'm pretty pumped and if you just randomly found this video hi my name is Charles it's my wife Allie and we do daily videos on the CTFXC channel we've been doing it for like 1600 days 1624 we have the Guinness World Record for doing that where we can follow our whole like life actually I just had brain surgery too as you can see it's pretty gnarly so go check that out youtube.com slash CTFXC Hope you guys liked this video. Like I said, check out the other one. It's a little bit more in depth because the phones were a lot more different. All right, now it's time to retire this phone. Bum, 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 bum. Wait, that's Star Wars. Bum, 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 bum. I keep doing Star Wars for some stupid reason. Okay, I'm gonna calmly, I'm gonna calmly put that down. Step out for a second and breathe. Oh, I'm not biased. I'll on this thing. All right, this is the important part. LTE.